Before we look at the video that shows the actual operation of the enhanced monitor mode of the CS580, a couple of things that need to be done to uh, be able to use the radio like that. Number one, you got to have frequencies programmed into the radio. So there already has to be a channel that has a transmit and receive frequency on it. The enhanced monitor mode only works with an existing frequency pair that's programmed into the radio, so that needs to be done using the CPS. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that you have one of the side buttons programmed to activate the enhanced monitor mode. In the demo radio, I have the enhanced monitor mode activated by using a long press of the top button, but you can set it up however you want. So once you get those two things done, then you're able to use the enhanced monitor mode and all the features that it offers. The radio is set up with a uh, channel and zone lineup, the same as what we used for the earlier videos where we were showing the enhanced scan and enhanced parameters mode. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the radio into the advanced, I'm sorry, enhanced monitor mode. And then what I'll do is I'll transmit into the radio from another DMR radio. I'll uh, send, I'll, I'll transmit on several different talk groups and you'll see how the CS580 captures the uh, time slot, color code, ID, and group type uh, or call type on the display screen and then how the use of the lock button will cause that information to be uh, stored in the working memory of the radio. So let's do the um, uh, long press on the top button to get into the enhanced monitor mode. Okay, so you can see right here, looking at the enhanced monitor mode, the various fields, the, the ID, color code, slot, type, transmit contact are all blank right now because nothing has been received. But uh, I'll transmit from another radio. This will be uh, the uh, Nevada talk group. N6, N6 AFB. Testing. Testing. One, two, one, two three. three. Now you notice as soon as I unkey the radio that it goes back to the blank display because again it's not it's not receiving anything so there are no data to show on the screen. So let's try a different talk group. Let's go to uh, North America. N6, N6 AFB. AFB. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then finally, both of those were, were uh, the type was, was a group call. Let's go to a private call. And you'll see that uh, when I do the private call, it shows up as a, there will be the letter P on the screen under type. And it'll, it'll work just like uh, the other group calls. N6, N6 AFB. AFB. Testing. Testing. One, two, One, two three. three. Okay, so at this point, we know that the system can receive the different call groups, um, but what we want is something so that when we when we get one of these transmissions on a particular talk group that we want to listen to, we want to be able to save that information. So I'm going to go back to I'm going to go back to the SNARS talk group, and when I key up the radio, I'm going to press the lock button on the CS580, and you'll see that it will hold that information on the display. So I press the lock button. Okay, so, okay, so now, now that information, that information is, is locked into, into the, radio. the radio. When I when unkey, unkey, like this, you'll notice that those data still stay on there. And they'll stay on there until I either press the back button on the radio or turn the radio off and start it up again. So it's only a temporary memory storage, but it allows you, when you know the transmit and receive frequencies, <clears throat> excuse me, of a local repeater or a repeater that's not local if you're in a different area, but you know the repeater frequencies, then you can set the radio up and as soon as someone transmits on a particular talk group, you'll be able to press the lock button and communicate with the other user. So just like the enhanced scan and the enhanced parameters mode, the enhanced monitor mode provides a great deal of versatility to this CS580 radio. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button 
And if you'd like to get updates whenever new videos are posted, please subscribe to the channel. And whenever I pop something new on there, you'll get an email that tells you that it's available to watch. 73 from Dave, N6AFB.